Hi everyone, welcome back to Legend, wait for it. Danny, it's another weekend, I'm hungry again. Let's eat some street food together with my friend Min. Min also moved from Germany to Singapore. Let's do this. Today we'll be eating at Newton Food Center. A lot of you might already know it from the movie Crazy Rich Asians from a couple years back. We'll be trying about five to 10 different dishes. A lot of people say it might be a bit overpriced, but I think that it's still quite affordable for all the tourists who are able to buy a plane ticket to come to Singapore. Let's go eat. Newton Food Center is a really famous and popular hawker center with many, many different food stalls selling local food of different cuisines. I personally really love this place as it's a great place to grab a couple of beers with some friends and eat all sorts of foods at affordable prices. All the right ingredients for a cozy and fun night out. Starting off, we are getting some carrot cake from this popular store, Hang Carrot Cake, at stall 0128. For those who are thinking about the carrot cake dessert, sorry to disappoint. In this case, we are actually talking about a savory dish that's made of radish, rice flour, garlic, scallions, fried together with eggs. Okay guys, I'm gonna try first the carrot cake. There's two versions here. We have the white one and the black one. The black one is pretty sweet. Sweet soy sauce. <laughs> Quite delicious. A definite must-try street food dish in Singapore. I like all. <laughs> Time to try the white carrot cake. I personally prefer the white version over the black one. Of course, dipped in a bit of chili sauce. White carrot cake? Yes, white carrot cake. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, it's very, inside is very gooey. It's made of sliced radish and rice flour. Do you like carrot cake in general? No, it's not my favorite. Not so much? No. Okay. But what about the black one? Also not. <laughs> not really good. Everyone who enjoys dishes with fried eggs will love this dish. Time to go hunt for more food. We are looking for the famous Guan Qi Grill Stall at 0153. Stingray, yes! Barbecue style? Yes. What size do you want? What size do we want? Medium? Large. Large, 20. Yeah. 20, where are you? Uh, 264? 264. Yes, correct. Anything else? That's it for now, thank you very much. Okay, next up we will try the Stingray. Look at this delicious looking sambal sauce covering the whole fish. Wow. Wow, it's a, it's a lot of meat here. A lot of fish, sorry. Wow, these are really big and chunky sambal barbecue stingray pieces. The texture is very firm and very almost hard. <laughs> and uh, Min will give it a try now. I follow Danny. Let's try. Very firm. It's a little bit dry, right? <laughs> Can it be? Or is it just me? So this fish is, the stingray is very firm. I, uh, I call it firm, Nin calls it a bit dry. The texture, which I believe is fair enough. <laughs> okay, whoever likes um, chicken breast, <laughs> whoever likes um, lean meat and lean fish, uh, the stingray is, I think, a very good choice. <laughs> But taste-wise, uh, I mean the sambal barbecue flavor, it's good, yeah. I think it's pretty delicious. Of course, a bit of dryness will not stop me from enjoying this delicacy. So we got some xiaolongbao. Actually, this is a delicacy from Shanghai, China. Because there is hot broth in the dumpling itself, you normally would bite off one corner of the dumpling suck out the soup slowly and carefully because it might be hot and burning off your tongue and then eat the whole dumpling. Mm. Missing the vinegar sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, super yummy xiaolongbao, really unexpected at a hawker center. It's really juicy and delicious. Juicy and delicious. 
it's just not the typical hawker food. Xiao Long Bao. Oh. <laughs> but we ordered it. That's nice. And it's available here, so. Mm. It's not typical. That's pretty delicious. Now we will look for one of the most iconic street food dishes, the satay. Who doesn't love skewered grilled meats? The very famous and popular store for this dish is TKR Satay Stall at 0133, a corner shop right at the entrance when you come into Newton. The, one of the most famous mm, dishes is The satay grilled meats come with a superb grainy peanut sauce as the perfect dip. Min, it's time for more satay time. Oh yeah. What, what are you eating? The clams, huh? Yeah, the clams. I like the clams a lot. I actually have not tried them at all here. Do they taste like cockles? Describe. Yeah, it's kind of small mussels. Small mussels? And but now? It's a bit roughly, so... So you will not get a stomach ache tomorrow? Yeah, I think so. Guess what it is? Chicken? Chicken satay? I think so. It's good but sweet. It is sweet. Very sweet. Is satay supposed to be sweet? Some of them make it quite sweet. Yeah. Did you dip it with the peanut sauce? Oh no, forgot. Totally forgot. <laughs> Let's try again with the peanut sauce. <laughs> Mm. Better. I think with the peanut sauce, oh, the satay is very sweet. Yeah. The, the satay tastes much better. Without the peanut sauce, uh, the chicken satay at least is uh, on the sweet side. But if you dip it with the grainy peanutty sauce, it tastes perfect. Now we try the beef or uh, beef or mutton. Cheers. <laughs> Sweet as well? I think it's different meat but always the same sweetness. Sweet and soft. Give it a try. So, please describe. The meat is really tender, well smoked and charred, but slightly on the sweet side. It's nice. Delicious. Delicious, delicious. I think when you like sweet dishes, sweet meat, then you can go for it. This satay from TKR Satay, right at the beginning of Newton Hawker. Very good. I think the best satay is always still at um, Lao Passat, yeah, the other hawker. Lao Passat is another hawker that we will be checking out in one of the next videos. They have a full street on only with satay. So they are specialized in perfect satay and we will be checking out that one the next time maybe. Eat, 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 eat. Cheers! Everything is better with onion. Mm. But what I really like is the veggies here. I mean, healthy is always good, man. Yeah, still crunchy. It's not overcooked, right? Hapki is the store to look for if you want to try the signature hawker dish, oyster omelets. After ordering, it took about 30 to 40 minutes until it was ready due to the amount of orders already placed before us. The ingredients are simply eggs, oysters, some flour, chili paste and spring onions. These Hawker food centers really are paradise for foodies to try out all different kinds of dishes. I want all of us to try the oyster omelet. You know how you can cover the oyster paste a little bit? You dip it into the chili sauce. I really am not a big fan of oysters, but we're gonna give this a try now. Yeah. Let's uh, try the oysters. Maybe together with some egg. Not, not just pure. <laughs> you really need to like it, right? You need to, really need to like it. Because you it's can really, really taste and smell the oyster, right? Mm -hmm. I think there's nothing in between. Like durian, either you love it or you hate it. I must say, I don't like oysters normally. 
but when you cover it completely in the chili sauce and take some egg with it, it's okay. I like egg. The egg is quite starchy. Outside, crispily pan fried, and inside, still very gooey. For those who don't love oyster, dip it properly into the sauce. But for those who love oyster, you will love this dish. Yeah. Those who don't like oyster, don't buy it. You're right. Mm. That's okay. Cheers. Cheers, oyster omelette. I think I've never eaten so many oysters in, a, in my life. But it's fun to eat so much. I mean, we are in one place and we are eating 10 different dishes. This is amazing. Five different countries, right? From, from 10 different countries. The best thing about eating in a food court or hawker center is that it's relatively affordable. Many different cuisines and dishes, all in one place. Oh, holy grail. Thanks, man. Perfect. The perfect refreshing drink to have in a hawker center is definitely sugarcane or coconut. The coconut is so refreshing. So good. It's the best. So good. You have to choose the white ones. They are much sweeter than the green ones. It has a lot of meat in there as well. This is so good. The next dish we are trying is the fishball noodle from stall 0169, which is Sunwa fishball kuei tiao mi. The auntie selling the fishballs is super friendly. The fishball noodle also had some fish one time. I'll be trying the clams now. It smells like the ocean. and smells like the ocean. But that's strong like the oysters. No. It's a little bit mild. It's more mild. But you like it, eh? Mm -hmm. This one you like. More than the oysters. There's too much sea. <laughs> too much of the sea. <laughs> for garlic naan. Is this also, is this typical for hokka? Uh, in in the food, yeah? I think so. so. This is with the chicken tikka. Stingray, chicken wing, satay, oyster, oyster omelette, carrot cake. This is awesome. The clams Comedy. are also very common for hawker. Time to try the, the real chicken wing. You're gonna like it, they're really good. Are they? The tender, the good taste. Better than this. Too sweet, like the... This is nice smoky barbecue chicken taste. The meat is very tender. The meat is more tender than the sambal stingray. <laughs> I think the sting stingray was really too dry this time. Is it always this dry? I don't think so. Huh? Maybe we're just unlucky with the dryness of the stingray today. When you need almost a knife to cut it. Let's 
try the the water. There's so much food, everything here. I love it. Let's try some of this. I like it. How would you describe to the taste to somebody in Germany who does not know how this orange thing tastes like? Describe the otter. It looks like a tongue. It looks like a tongue. <laughs> Fishy, mashy paste of spices and fish minced together. That's good. Yeah, this is uh, what it would be in English. Have you said it? In German, it would be Der Geschmack dieses Otters. Schmeckt wie ein Mix von fischigem Hackfisch mit ganz vielen Gewürzen zusammengemischt. One of the last dishes is the XO mincemeat noodle stall at the very beginning, right next to the entrance. It serves amazing homemade meatballs with good Mee Pok noodles. These meatballs, now they are a bit cold, but I'm really a big fan of them actually. These are homemade. Cheers. Cheers. Juicy, meaty and flavorful in the inside. And outside, I think it's deep fried, and that's why it has a nice texture outside. What do you think of the meatballs? Very nice, nice texture, outside, crunchy, inside, moist and soft. Woo! Awesome. And sugar cane. <sighs> Always great. Okay, Min, try the meatball noodles. We actually have some soup from there. You can put it a little bit over, it's not so dry. Actually, it's quite full. Yeah? I try. Very full and so full. So now we're gonna try the XO meat pop noodles. Dig in. Actually, this kind of noodle described for Germans who have no clue how this tastes. Is it like spaghetti? No, completely no. different. Completely different, yeah. The texture is completely different. But I can explain. Exactly, what's the difference? But I feel like more springier. Than springier? Than it's more al dente. Uh, there's no bite to it. Okay, With some fish cake, it, the pasta is harder than spaghetti, yeah? Spaghetti is super soft. And springy. And very slurpable. <laughs> so, we are all very full now. We had about 10 different dishes here. Or 15. Did you enjoy the dinner? A lot. And my favorite is your favorite is the chicken wing. The chicken wing. Because okay. Because of the texture and it's really barbecued grilled meat. I love it too. I like the clams as well. The clams. I like the veggies are very nice. In between, you need some veggies to stay healthy. Yeah, Kids stay healthy. And uh, yeah, this was um, not all stalls, of course, from Newton Hawker, but. I think we did pretty well for today. Until next time. Oh. Oh.